Hi, welcome back to MBA Solutions. I am Shravan, Assistant Professor, BVC, MBA Department, Mysuru. If you are not subscribed to our channel, please press subscribe button and bell icon for notification. In our previous video, we have discussed and understood the steps involved in the arbitration. Today also, we are going to continue the arbitration calculation with another problem. Without wasting too much time, let's go directly into the problem. Here in the following problem, the following data are given spot rate per dollar that is 42.0010. That means if you purchase today, you need to pay 42.0010. Six months forward rate. That is, if you purchase after six months, it is 42.0010. That means you need to pay extra. That means it is a premium. Interest rate for rupees is 12%. Interest rate for dollar is 8%. We need to check whether arbitrage is possible or not. To check it, it has to fulfill one rule. What is that one rule? Interest differential. That is the interest difference should be greater than the forward premium or discount here in this case it is premium interest difference what is the interest difference 12 minus 8 it is 4 percent whether it is greater than the forward premium that we need to check it to calculate the forward premium what is the formula forward rate minus spot rate divided by spot rate into 12 divided by n into 100 what is the forward rate forward rate is 42.8020 42.8020 minus spot rate is 42.0010 42.0010 divided by spot rate. Spot rate is 42.0010 multiplied by 12 divided by N. N is the contract. For how many months the contract is? It is 6 months. They are given. Divided by 6 into 100. 42.0010. 8020 minus 42.0010 is 0 0.801 divided by 42.0010 into 12 divided by 6, 2 into 100. If you substitute, you will get the value 3.8141 percentage. Now, whether the interest difference is greater than the forward premium, interest difference is 4%. And what about the forward premium? It is 3.8141%. Whether it is greater or not? It is greater. That means now arbitrage is possible. Now we will go for the arbitration process which consists of three steps. First step is to borrow. Second step is to invest. Third step is to make repayment of the borrowed money. These are the three steps that you need to follow in the arbitration process. We will go for the step number one that is borrow now the question is which currency to borrow and how much to borrow in the given problem they have not mentioned anything about the investment so we are assuming 1000 now the question is which currency for that go to the data and check whichever the currency which has got low interest rate borrow that currency and invest in the currency which has got highest interest rate here in this 
dollar has got low interest rate that means we are borrowing in dollar and invest in rupee which has got 12% so that means we are borrowing 1000 dollar now step 2 is we need to go for investment invest in rupees we have got dollar that means we need to get convert into rupees for that go to the spot market and check if you sell one dollar how much you are going to get in the spot market for one dollar it is 42.0010 if you sell thousand dollar how much you are going to get cross multiply it thousand into 42.0010 that will give you 42,001 rupees now invest this 42,001 rupees at the rate of 12 percent they are given in the data if you invest in Indian rupees the interest rate is 12 percent and contract is for six months that is why we are investing for six months only now how much you are going to get after six months for the calculation of the future value use the formula principal amount multiplied by open the big bracket 1 plus open the small bracket r into t close the small bracket as well as big bracket substitute and calculate it principal amount is 42,001 multiplied by 1 plus r is 12 percent that is 0.12 time is 6 months 6 divided by 12 close the small and big bracket that is 42,001 multiplied by 6 divided by 12 is 0 0.5 0 0.5 into 0 0.12 is 0 0.06 if you multiply 42,001 into 1 plus 0 0.06 is 1.06 you will get 44,521.06 rupees that is after six months but you need to convert into dollar because you have borrowed in dollar you need to repay back that now go to the six months forward rate what is the price at that time per per dollar it is 42 rupees 8020 if that means if you give 42 rupees 8020 rupees you are going to get one dollar if you give 44,521.06 how many dollar you are going to get cross multiply it that is 44,521.06 divided by 42.8020 which will give you 1040.16 dollar you are going to get now we'll go for the step number 3 in the step number 3 we need to pay whatever the borrowed amount how much we have borrowed we have borrowed 1000 dollar at the rate of 8% for six months what is the amount that we need to repay back along with the interest for that also use the same formula calculate which i have calculated for the future value that is principal amount multiplied by one plus open the small bracket r into t close the small bracket and big bracket also principal amount is $1,000 into 1 plus R is how much? 
time is six months. Close the small bracket as well as the big bracket. One thousand into one plus six divided by twelve is zero point five. Zero point five into zero point zero eight that will give you zero point zero four. That means one thousand into one plus zero point zero four is one point zero four. Which will give you one thousand forty dollar. You need to repay back along with the interest. Now you got how much you got from the investment? One zero four zero point one six dollar. Repay back the principal amount along with the interest. That is one zero four zero, which will give you a profit of zero point. One six dollar for the investment of thousand dollar. This is how we can able to calculate the arbitration process. Thank you for watching this video. We'll continue with one more problem in the next session. Until then, thank you.